In an age of constant video surveillance, we must remain ever vigilant to ensure our rights to privacy. As drones are becoming more and more commonplace, it is essential that we educate and prepare ourselves. We are anonymous. We, are anonymous. we do not forget. Not forget. We do not forget. Not forget. Not forget. Expect us. Expect us. I know the drone's mighty. You're probably looking for me. These strings are getting tangled. Now these puppets looking funny. We die for crooked money. Surviving through the culling. And trying not to become it. But they're lying to the public. They fly and lie above us. But instead we bow. With these iPads in our face. We stay looking down. Look around and you see these human lives tortured. Have to stay awake. Though this brutal time's over. Psychotropic drugs. Suicide soldiers. Take their own lives. While they choose to die for us. Control us. Program us. Not a plans to have us looking like James Holmes and Adam Lanza. Cram us in hospitals and give us cancer. Body scanners to scan us, but down your cameras. Get your hands off of me, bam, you on the canvas. This ain't the answer. Hey folks, Permanent Patriot here. Back with some more disturbing truths. Don't worry, we're not going to the body parts one. Mount Weather Underground City. A fascinating city literally built under America. Mount Weather is a top security underground installation an hour's drive from D.C. has its own leaders, police, fire department, and laws. Cold War Relic, it's been given a new lease of life since 9-11, and no one's been inside. No one who's been inside has ever talked. Click that link, goes to the wiki. Well, that goes to about top secret, but... There we go. Uh, is a civilian command facility in the U.S. Commonwealth of Virginia. Notice they used Commonwealth and not state. Used as the center of operations for FEMA, also known as High Point Special Facility. Preferred designation since '91 is SF. That's what it uses over the airwaves. Facility is a major relocation site for the highest level of civilian and military officials in case of national disaster, playing a major role in U.S. continuity of government. I highly suggest you might want to look at the continuity of operations plan. Uh, Mount Weather is a location of a control station for the FEMA national radio system known as FNARS high-frequency radio system connecting most federal public safety agencies and the U.S. military with most of its states. Uh, it allows the president to access the emergency alert system, by the way, which he can do at any fucking time he pleases. He can make an alert for anything. It's located on the border of Luden Clark counties in Lumont, Lumont Virginia, uh, and it's operated, controlled, by Department of Homeland Security, it's been in use since 1959, so it was built way before then. Now you gotta ask yourself this, folks. Underground facility, secret underground city, with, I mean, you know, its own leaders, police and shit. We're talking continuity of government here. Anytime you hear continuity of government in Congress or on the Senate floor, the next words you're gonna hear are, uh, excuse me, Mr. Speaker, can we please get into that in executive session? Meaning, can we talk about that in private, away from the public ears? Hello? They work for you. They represent you. Why are they going and having a private meeting? Hello? So, FEMA supposed to be civilians. Helping in a natural disaster. If they're, if they're continuity of government, then they know what the government knows. Am I right or wrong? U.S. President Barack Obama signs NDAA. That was a long time ago, folks. I believe it was 2011, something like that. Um, yeah, well, permitting military to have sex with animals, among a bunch of other shit that, I don't, that's a whole nother other thing, but anyways, so, yeah, underground city, 
So this is what I'm leading up to. Well, not that. Over here, popsteries.com. Under the file, Aliens Among Us. Firefighter's Guide to Disaster Control. In the Firefighter's Guide for Disaster Control, it tells you who would be, because you know, they would be the first to arrive on the scene of a crashed UFO. So, it gives them um, protocol on what to do if they ever come across a UFO. And every this is in every firefighter's manual across the country. Hello? The final conspiracy. To exact a severe reduction of the population without undue property damage, ecological damage, or excessive psychological aftershock, the Illuminati elite would need to engineer a perceived threat from a perceived enemy. The perceived antagonist would need to provide a credible means and a credible motive. Such an enemy could be an alien invader. Note, I believe the elite chose the Middle East at this time. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I also believe that more than one alien race has interbred with Earth's human population for many years while systematically slaughtering the ancient cultures. It's arguable. Uh, also, there is much evidence that this has been kept from the public that suggests that modern man was genetically created from existing hairy hominids on Earth by an advanced species, Elohim Anunnaki, and used as worker slaves. Uh, Earth and then it's got Earth's ancient humans are all dark-skinned peoples. And folks, if you've never seen this picture right here, I highly suggest you uh, go and look it up. Just type in real live demons. Because I can't, I can't find this exact picture without actually going to look for it and going out of my way. Just trust me when I tell you, when you see it real close up, you can still barely see it a little bit. But the aliens got eyes just like we got. They just got a lens over them, like sunglasses. They look real close though. Of course they're not aliens either. Uh, the alien flag is known as the Trilateral Insignia. Trilateral Commission? Hello. Here's another one, folks. Mars Defense Force. Uh, yeah, you might want to take a listen to this video. You might want to take a listen to this video. Okay. And, uh, the shit I've been telling you about this Cory Good guy and colonies on Mars. Let's check this one out. Mars Colony Corporation. There's all the archives right there from government documents. And if you keep reading this story, I'm sure it'll take you right to the fucking Cory Good story that I'm telling you about recently. This shit ain't no joke. Now, just watch some of these.
We were informed that the native species of Mars were numerous, as it turns out. There's a number of living things that live on Mars now. The surface is still kind of sparse compared to what it used to be before the grand accident, as I kind of think it, uh, which at another place in history will be more appropriate to tell that part, talking about the history of Mars as I come to understand it, or came to be told it. So we were given a briefing on who and what's what. So it turns out that there are two main evolved species there, other than who are living on this planet, that we may have to contend with. Uh, a native reptoid species and a native insectoid species that don't necessarily live in the same area but have their own nests and hives, whatever they wanted to call them at the time. Uh, we were essentially treated to typical briefing. These are the native savages and beasts that you're going to have to deal with. We weren't given any kind of impression that these evolved or civilized creatures or had high knowledge or philosophy or technology or anything. Just that these tended to be really big pain in the butt that we were going to have to deal with. I later learned that that was not the case. There was a very evolved species, uh, quite intelligent. Um, they were not given that at the briefing. Well, wherever your boundaries meet up against a forward station meets up with the boundary of a reptoid or insectoid species, lair or hive, it's going to be a place of contested space where they will challenge that space. I give you the uh, Phil Schneider case. This dude was a fucking, I don't know, cosmic top secret agent or some shit. And uh, a lot of people say he's a disinfo agent. I don't buy that for a fucking second. I mean, geez, the guy had his fucking hands singed off with, with fucking lasers. He's missing his fucking toes. It, I mean, I believe the guy 100%. Um, that's what he says. And um, they were talking about... They were talking about how... Uh, well, Schneider was. How... They were digging and drilled into another tunnel or some shit. It was a fucking alien den or whatever. Underground alien base. And they had a fucking shootout with them. And like 70 fucking U.S. soldiers died. And that is on record. Okay. I mean, uh, you can just go and look that up anywhere. Come over here to uh, Pups Theories, P U P P S Theories.com. You'll get some uh, interesting come up ins. Here's one for all you Air Force guys Advanced Propulsion Systems. They've had a long time. Uh, if you believe Bob Lazar's story, you would have fucking known that a long time ago. Or if you know anything about John Lear. So this just goes through a bunch of, uh, you know, facts you might want to know. Pretty cool. And uh, here's another good one to check out. Aliens Among Us. It talks about, it's got majestic documents. Right there, government documents. Okay. And you get a link to, to go and uh, it talks about our origins, where we're really from. Our ancient humans are all dark sand peoples. <clears throat> Any fucking black person will tell you that. They won't just tell you that. They'll fucking tell you and 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 tell you. Ain't that right? Yes, we're all black. So what the fuck's this racist shit about? Whoops, we lost our pigment. <laughs> That's it for now. God bless and carry on.